In this movie, we'll take a look at a very easy to use but powerful feature of Anime Pro, and that is working with the brushes to add some personality to the shapes that you create. Let's go ahead and first just create some basic shapes. We'll go ahead and press L on the keyboard for oval, so that's our shortcut to get over to the oval. And I'm going to change the line width here. When you work with brushes, you'll want to have lines that are fairly thick to see the effect of the brushes. So I'm going to go ahead and change this from 5 over here in our style palette up to something more like 20. And go ahead and select return. So I'll go ahead and draw our initial oval right here. I'm going to go ahead and create a rectangle by pressing the keyboard shortcut E. That gives us our rectangle. And now I want to work with some of the freehand shapes and we'll revisit some of those features because they become much more important when we start working with brushes. I'll press the keyboard shortcut F for freehand, which gives us our little pencil tool. And we'll come up here to freehand options. This is where I happen to be using a tablet, a Wacom tablet. You don't have to have a tablet to get some of the thick and thin qualities that come with the benefits of using freehand, but we will here. And I'm going to change the maximum width of my brush up to 20 as well so we can see that. If you don't have a tablet and you're just working with a mouse, the easiest thing to do is to go ahead and select either none or random here. None will give you more control and then you can do a taper start and taper end. This will give you a thin start and finish and then a thickness or maximum thickness of the line. With that selected I'll go ahead and click off that to close the dialog box and we'll draw something that looks more like a mouth. Got that going up to the upper lips here and then we'll fade that out towards the corner of the mouth maybe draw oh, a little under lip right there. Let's go ahead and start exploring this in the context of the brushes. Before we get started I wanted to call your attention to this little area right here, display quality. When you open this you have the ability to enable seeing brushes real time as you work with them. I have mine enabled. If you happen to be working with a computer that doesn't have one of those powerful graphics cards you may want to disable this and if you do that the only way you'll be able to see the effects of the brushes is to go ahead and render the file out. Again to do that you come up to file down to render it's got the keyboard shortcut on the Mac as command R if you're on the PC it's control R to get a render. If we choose that now it'll quickly render our file out we see that we can take a look at it that way. If you don't have the display option for brushes enabled, this will be the only way that you can see the effects of the brushes when you're working on your project. Back here, now that we've got some shapes drawn, to start working with the brushes, you need to use the shape selection tool. And as a reminder, the keyboard shortcut for that, and we're over here on the left side, is Q. We'll go ahead and select a shape right here. With that selected, we can come over to our styles window and currently we have no brush enabled. We'll go ahead and click on that square and we get a brush dialog box that opens up that shows you all the presets that come with Anime Pro. You can create your own brushes and we'll talk about that a little bit later on. I'll just select this first brush right here and then let's explain some of these options we've got to work with. The first checkbox you can enable says align brush with a curve for an organic shape like this, that's not such a big deal, but if we have a very graphic brush that has a definite angle to it that's quite obvious to work with, that gives you the ability to align that along the brush stroke if you want to, and we'll play with that in some upcoming movies as we work with some very custom types of illustration. The brush jitter angle is how much it rotates this single shape to create this look. With a jitter angle of 360, that means 360 degrees. So if you take this brush right here and then randomly rotate it every time it draws, you can get the effect we see right here, which is a very organic, very natural type of look, something you might expect with charcoal on a rough paper. The brush spacing is how often anime will draw this brush shape along the line. If you imagine from left to right in this brush as being 100%, with the brush spacing set at 25%, we're asking Anime to go ahead and redraw that shape, randomly rotating it every quarter of a distance right here. So we get a nice overlap, we get a nice density going on that creates this very strong type of stroke right here. If you want, you can enable the minimize frame to frame randomness. This will prevent some of the jitter that goes on with every frame that gets rendered out at the very end. 
for natural type of looks, you kind of want that or you can expect it. But if you want to keep the brush strokes more predictable between each render, this is the way you do that to kind of avoid that line jitter at the very end. I'll go ahead and select OK. Well, it looks like we haven't seen any big change here. Let me go ahead and click off of our shape. Now that we click off, we can see dynamically that this shape has been stroked with that particular brush. Now it says no brush is selected right here, and that's because we haven't used our shape tool to select that brush. If you want to experiment with some other shapes or other brushes, you can go ahead and reselect that shape, come back up here to brush, then change to something that's so more like that one, which gives us a little bit of a, a softer edge here, or if we chose something that gives us a little more of a scratch edge, I'll click off that, and we can see that effect right there. In our next movie, we'll go ahead and take a look at ways we can start combining some of these brushes with some of the effects that come along with it to create some very sophisticated line work that you can easily apply across your animation.